So, um, next thing we're going to do is lining the tart. Oh, um, my pastry's been resting for half an hour and it was in that sort of disc shape so that uh, it should be the same temperature all the way through. So, get some uh, flour onto the board, onto your table, and also some flour onto your rolling pin. And gently roll one direction only away from you. Free the pastry underneath and re flour away from you a couple of times. Keep your rolling pin floured. your board flowered as well. I have to work quickly with this because especially as you see I'm working next to the stove it means that the pastry butter is melting all the time. So when we get to a stage about here our pastries Big enough to line the mould and it's about the thickness of a, a 10p piece, not as thick as a pound coin. Take a dish with a little bit of butter and do like the moulds for the sponge pudding, grease it all the way around. Take your pastry carefully up onto your rolling pin and then gauge the middle go down in the middle okay if it splits don't worry come back together take a little bit of pastry and help it into the corners Just trim off the excess. Right. If you do make a mistake and you get some little holy things, just crimp in another piece of, of pastry in there. Okay, make sure it's all the way around. Take Push them down so that the tart is completely covered and completely full. Just bring your um, bring your um, cling film together so that it's touch, touching the top. Put that onto a baking sheet or a tray. And that goes into your oven to bake brine for probably 15 minutes with the beans in and then 5 minutes with the beans out. Okay, and I'll be back in a little while to show you the next one.